Well, hello YouTube. Today is the 20th day of the Biden administration. Everybody happy with what you're seeing so far? Well, let's just put it this way. Um, it's only going to get worse. So we're seeing rule by executive order. So, so far the, ex the, uh, can the um, Keystone XL pipeline has gone. Thousands of jobs there. Gas prices are on the rise. Um, especially here. I don't know if anybody else has seen it, but gas prices are continuing to go up. I've noticed them going up four or five cents just in the last week. And Saudi Arabia just announced the other day that they're going to be raising oil prices. So gas prices are just going to continue to go up, especially as more and more environmentalist crap comes out of the Biden administration. On top of that, you have um, your grain prices are starting to go up. I, I urge everyone to check out the USDA's website and look at the crop reports. They come out, I think, once a week. And the last one I looked at noticed that the Russians are raising the prices of grain. And the Russians produce most of the grain used by the rest of the world. And one of the biggest buyers is China. Well, and you look who China supplies it to. China turns around and supplies that grain to the United States and Canada. So that means if the grain prices are going up, then your food prices are going to go up. That's along with the fact that the gas prices are going to go up. Because if the grain prices are going up, they feed that to your animals. Your farm animals are getting that. Your farm animals, of course, produce your food, your milk, whatever. So on top of that, along with fuel prices, you can see where this is going. So I'm telling people right now, you might want to start stocking up on food, either dehydrated food, canned food, etc., etc., then against, along with that, you have to start looking at, um, I, and I swear, God, if one more person calls me about ammunition or emails me, do you know where this is or that is? No, I don't. But I can tell you right now, um, I checked ammunition yesterday and again today. 3030 ammo is 80 to $90 a box everywhere I see it online. Um, if you can find it cheaper, you know, like right around average price, if that's one of your calibers you use, I would say grab it. Um, 22, forget it. I haven't seen 22 long rifle, I don't know how long. 22 short, I can run across. And I will, uh, I'm hoping to get a video out pretty soon showing where you can take a 1022 mag and modify it to fire 22 shorts. And it will work in both the 7722s, your 77 American or the uh, Ruger Rimfire American and your older 7722s. Um, Volkwartsen used to make a magazine specifically for that. I bought a second mag from an independent guy on eBay and it works, it cycles perfectly. And the magazine that I modified cycles and works perfectly. And I'm hoping to get that out there. As far as anything else that becomes the ammunition, I notice now that black powder supplies are disappearing. Muzzle loading supplies are disappearing. Percussion caps especially. Normally, percussion caps go for five to six dollars for a hundred. I'm seeing them going for oh, a lot more. Uh, I spotted one auction on Gunbroker where a guy was selling a hundred of them, and the bids were over three hundred dollars for a hundred. But Means he's getting a lot more for those tins, and that I can't find them up here. Where I am, no one has them. They're going to be if they're gone, they're gone, and they're going to stay gone. And muzzleloaders, you go in Dixie Gunworks and some of these online places, these dealers that sell a lot of muzzleloading stuff, you're starting to see unavailable, unavailable, unavailable. Well, that's because they're it's gone, it's disappearing. So. I'm telling people now, if you know how to grow food, uh, I would start looking into more growing food. 
if you know how to if you know how to can your own food or I look into doing it because right now your stuff's going to start going up in prices and by the summertime because your gas prices really aren't going to hit until right now it's it's okay your gas prices are really going up but it's the winter time people drive less especially since the pandemic's still on people really have no place to go why are your gas prices going so high wait till the spring and summertime when people do drive even during a pandemic there was a lot of tourist traffic in places last year wait till that happens your gas prices i'm going to say by the summertime are going to well be, be well over four dollars a gallon well over four dollars a gallon i'm going to put it to you right now um i again i would look into canned food i'd look into buying food i'd look into worrying about for you know keeping food on hand for storage um, growing food, container gardening, you've seen some of my videos, I've really gotten into that. Um, it really works, it's a lot easier than trying to dig through the ground, especially for people who live in apartments. As long as if the plant is above freezing, you can put it outside in the sun. When it's below freezing, you got to bring it indoors, or don't bring it outdoors. But as long as it's above freezing, you can go outside. But this is just the beginning, folks, and of course you got the gun control bills coming up, HR 127 where you have the Sheila Jackson Lee, and that's the big one that everybody's looking at, where it's going to be registration for your guns, it's going to be registration for your magazines, you're going to have to get psychological exams. Um, she, along with that, has a seven-day waiting period. She, along with that, has a Safe Storage Act. And this morning, and he hasn't really gotten the news much because the impeachment hearing, you know, today's uh, Trump's second impeachment hearing started, They've been announcing that Biden's $200 gun tax. I haven't seen the whole particulars of this, but I know it's been announced. Folks, it's an all-out war on conservatism right now. And they're not stopping and they're not going to back off. And they don't, well, why should they? And look at the Republicans. I'm sorry, you Republicans in Congress, where are you? You're not standing up for anything. You're basically just standing there. You're not opposing this. Look at look at uh, Biden's uh, cabinet positions. They're sailing through with huge margins. Hardly anyone is opposing Biden's cabinets. Look at them, the Democrats with Trump's cabinet. Everybody got opposed. It was almost a party line vote with the Republicans just barely getting anybody through. You have the Republicans now pretty much coasting Biden's cabinet people through. Despite all their differences or problems or issues or whatever they got, they're sailing through. That tells you the Republicans, folks. That tells you that go along to get along. I've said it before. It's like professional wrestling. At the end of the day, it looks good on television. They're beating the hell out of each other and you know yelling and cursing each other. By the end of the day, when the cameras are off and everybody's gone home, they're all drinking at the same bar. And that's where we're at. That is where we're at. You know, and of course, it's it's just going to get worse. I don't see this getting better. Crime is going up. I think wait till summertime. Wait till spring and wait till summer. If you think crime is bad now, this is the cold months. Crime usually always goes down in the winter because people don't want to go out and commit crimes because it's too cold. Well, come summertime, it's, this is going to seem ten times worse. Meanwhile, you have you know Trump, uh, Biden's executive orders. He's wide open the Mexican border, and that's because they want more voters. They're going to make sure the Republicans never hold power again, not as if they're doing anything to encourage it, uh, to encourage wanting to vote for him again. You have ICE effectively being shut down and defunded because by executive order the borders are wide open meanwhile washington dc you can't get to your elected officials there if you wanted to because it's an armed camp of national guard and fences you think that's there for just coincidence of course not they knew what happened to them on, on january 6th and they're never going to let people near them again i'm willing to bet those national guard troops are there to stay they're going to make sure that they are protected. You're not, but they're going to make sure they are. That's where we're at, folks. I can't say it's encouraging. I, I think everybody ought to look to their own um, prep work, um, not, just, uh, not just guns and ammo, but food, medical supplies. I seriously start putting stuff away, especially because the prices are going to go up. 
drastically. I think it's going to get a lot worse. For you people in the city, I don't even know what to tell you folks. I can't imagine being you, and I'm glad I'm not you, to be perfectly honest. But, with that being said, YouTube, uh, another thing I was looking into, and I'm hoping to get into a bit more, is alternative calibers. I picked up a 17 Mach 2 H&R single shot. With plenty of ammo. Ammo for that seems to be everywhere. That's the one caliber I could I could find anywhere. I've shot it. I've tested it. It's actually a pretty uh, interesting round. I never gave it a lot of thought. And I've talked to a few guys since I've got it. And they all kind of have a little light bulb go on. And say, yeah, you know, we can get that. We can get ammo for that. We can get those. And it's no more than I was paying for 22 long rifle. Or what I've seen 22 long rifle going for. So there's something to consider. Start looking at oddball calibers you could get. And, you know, with that being said, YouTube, going to wrap this one up. But I think everybody ought to really see, really seriously start looking to their own. And hopefully I'll get out more. It snowed a little, quite a bit today, so hopefully I'll get out when that quits and stays quit for a couple of days and the temperatures warm up. And with that being said, YouTube, have a good day.